Morgen. Morgen. Hi guys, I'm in Zermatt, beautiful place and today I would like to find out about helicopter flight and also about skydiving, you know, I love skydiving and uh, I'm not sure if there are some opportunities here, I mean if I can jump from helicopter because I need at least 3,000 meters for that so I will find out everything love it and I also did a helicopter flight already in my life a few times, maybe three and yes this is my hobby, my name is Sophie hello So, I 
have to start here, I believe. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Teleport, right? Of course, because I had been here before and I know now, you know, how to get up and but first time, like I had been here like three years ago and uh, it was really scary because I just found this elevator lift and I'm like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do? Where I have to go? But now I know everything. I will show you the best place in Zermatt where you can spend your money and enjoy life and traveling, you know, and you know, to, to get this energy and uh, uh, like positive vibe, positive energy. I believe this is so important, you know, and uh, I'm also professional sports all my life. I had been an Olympic team. I can swim, I can uh, do horse riding. Skydiving. Skydiving. <laughs> yes. No. Can I jump from helicopter? No, no. But I ha I jumped before in different countries. Uh, the, uh, yeah. I'm professional sports. I can. I know how to jump. You, you don't have it here. <laughs> no, no, no. And here in Valle on somewhere in, in Switzerland. No, you know? I think also we make this one not. No. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Cool. Check this out. Love it. Oh, they don't have skydiving. So sad. I'm not sure. Oh, this is just the worst. This small helicopter. Oh cool. No angry, huh? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm member. No, <laughs> no entry. Huh? But I have to pay for this, like for membership, why not? <sighs> so excited right now. I love this. So cool. Helicopter. Let's have a look a little bit closer. Oh, so cool, guys. I love it. I love it. This is my hobby. I love it so much. Cool. Oh look, so pretty. 
Oh, actually, I'm not a pilot. I I know just how to jump. You know. Oh, this is a rare and Sion. This is for for what? For emergency, probably. We can have a look inside a little bit. But of course, I'm not gonna touch anything here. Just for look, right? Cool. These guys, they're just super cool professionals. And uh, yeah, how I said before, I have insurance here. So if I will lost, <laughs> for example, somewhere in the mountains, I will call them and they will just immediately save my life. <laughs> because but hopefully I will be fine. Ertima Transion. Love it. I have this Ertima on my laptop. Super cool. Maybe. Like. I have never tried to. I mean, this is the most difficult and complicated. Uh, you know, to to fly on helicopter yes you can go please stare on the other side okay mm -hmm. i'm blogger <laughs> so uh yeah i know just uh, some pilots and uh, i know some pilots and they like or if we have choice to fly on helicopter or, or walk by our like just walk we will prefer to walk either if it's just uh, five or ten hours really it's so dangerous and you need to be a really professional for that you know so of course you have to be like uh, supposed to have very high professional level for sure let's go inside have a look oh nice Sorry. So, we can buy everything from here, like for tourists or for fans. I believe that waterproof. Nice. I don't have any anything like this actually. And here, yeah for men also some accessories this guy that i meet pretty cool and also here this is actually new they don't have it in, like in last year they have just some accessories like you can buy a pen or note or something but now Pioneer did recruiting. So many nice stuff. I mean, check this out. Recruiter card. I mean, of course, they also have training center. If you want to learn how to fly a helicopter, you can just, you know, to choose the best professional for yourself. And, uh, oh, also nice. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But of course, you can order everything online. But or actually, I subscribed to this guy, Gerald Binner. On LinkedIn profile so that's why I know about this space so I did like about uh, three flights but I mean the sky the limit so cool Here I am. Hi. <laughs> Ready for hiking. 
Of course. Hublot or what is it? Ah, oh, no, Hamilton. Nice. Some cab. Let's see. Can you have some for information about price and everything? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. This guy is the limit. Nice cafe machine. If you want to drink coffee. Okay. Uh, closed toilet as well. If you want just to clean your hands. Nice, nice, super nice. I love it. Very big fan of Air Cermat. And I also, I believe I will order something like this. It's so sad that I don't have sky diving so I can't jump, but I mean, yeah. Let's, ah, uh, where is he? Oh no, <laughs> I lost a little bit. <laughs> oh, where is he? <laughs> Love it. Okay. Wish me luck. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See you later.
my journey uh, every year, every year, like every every year, two or three times during the year, I go up with a helicopter or by walk, of course, if it's during the summertime. And uh, yes, if you can see over there, very small building, white one, and uh, mm, I believe it's located. Uh, 3,800 meters or 4,000 meters almost, I mean, almost top of the top, you know so, yes, I already did it seven times and uh, I love it and today I will spend between four or six hours by walking I don't know, I mean, I have no idea how long it will take for me but I love it, like this is my hobby and sometimes people ask me or Sofia or you know, you, sometimes people like to criticize me as I mentioned or you love to only luxury and this is like completely wrong no way, I love not only luxury I love hiking I love climbing, you know, glacier this is the best, I mean, actually this is the reason why I decided to move to Switzerland because of the glacier, you know the cleanest water you can drink water from the river from the lake whatever and uh, I mean I really appreciate like Swiss people support and try to protect our nature and I believe we all I mean all foreigners are supposed to learn from Swiss people how we're supposed to take care about our nature of course there are a lot of like foreigners with billions or millions you know they they want to destroy I mean they try to build houses here or hotels or I don't know and then You can, like, literally, you can drink from this beautiful lake, glacier, you know, 100% nature. So, I can't see anything because of this. So, yeah, I will show you top of the top. And uh, I prepared my shoes, my whole outlook. I'm not so pussy how I look like. I, I, I mean, like <laughs> 53 kilos of power <laughs> funny okay see you guys later choose so this is the way uh blue one means that is the way you know it is for hiking and road difficult to hike and I can feel like I can run like 10 kilometers without stopping but this is completely different you know this is not the same like a gym when I used to go to the gym and you can run five kilometers ten kilometers it's okay but to walk from three thousand to four thousand wow like so good for heart for you know oh my god I need to oxygen here I am there are some group over there for sure we'll go together so I'll go to <sighs> truck and stack this way. Easy way, I would like to say. And I will go. Hello.
that means easy but you will go up no okay i will go along oh well not really alone there are some alpinists there guys wait for me Uh, how is it supposed to pronounce this Hörnlihütte? Hörnlihütte. And what does it mean? It means the name of the hut is Hörnli. Ah. The hut Hütte is hut. Ah, it's like Hörnli is like a village? No, Hörnli is a point. A point? Uh, that's a Hörnli point. Hut point. Hut. A heart or hut? Hut, hut? hut. A hut. Okay, you can take a start video. I want to say hello. Hello, baby! Is it special dog for a certain people? No, because I can see number. Oh. Hello guys, here I am. Uh, this place called Hurley uh, Hütte, and uh, I spent uh, around uh, around uh, three hours to get here. You know. And now a little bit about history. After the conquest of the Matterhorn in 1865, more and more people arrived to explore the unique mountain. I will show you this mountain. So this mountain called the Matterhorn and uh, oh, the first Basically, this is the first accommodation facility, the Herne Hutti of Herne Lodge, offering uh, 17 beds um, at uh, an altitude of 3,800 meters to Three hundred, three thousand two hundred and eighty meters in the eighteen eighty eighteen. So uh, it was constructed under the supervision and on the initiative of the Swiss Alpine Club, Monte Rosa section. Uh, since uh, its construction, it has served many mountaineers as a stirring point of uh, the Matterhorn as a refuge during changes and weather conditions and uh, in 1911 the community of Zermatt built the Matterhorn Mountain Hotel Belvedere and uh, until 1986 both mountain lodges were managed independently of uh, another which pro proved difficult at these times so uh, the Monte Rosa section of the Swiss Alpine Club and the community of Zermatt agreed to that oh, the yeah, version of the Belvedere Mountain Hotel would also look after Herne Hütte. Uh, both lodges 
already built several times over the, over, uh, over the following decades to meet the increased demands placed on them and have been able to accommodate 170 mountain climbers since the most recent monetization in 1986. So here I am. To be honest, okay, it's not so difficult to climb and hike, but at the same time, it's not so easy. And uh, how I said before, I can I can compare with a gym, you know. For me, it's so easy to run. I don't know five or ten kilometers, but to climb, to hike, you know, with such as fresh air, there are no enough of oxygen. It's a little bit different. Oh, I can see so clear dog. Look, doggy. Hello, doggy. I can I can feel like there are not a lot of oxygen here right now, you know. I'm shaking my legs like but I'm so happy. Guys, you ask me about my hobbies. So here I am. This is my hobby. And I'm happy to show you one of the most beautiful places in our world. So if you're not lazy You can be brave and just visit Matterhorn one day. Cheers! <laughs> so guys, the Matterhorn here. Unfortunately, I can't see a whole peak, but... You see glacier? It's very beautiful. I love it, uh, you know, during the summer, uh, April, I mean spring, every time it's beautiful, like super beautiful. And um, the Matterhorn, uh, Italian Cervina, is mountain of the Alps uh, and uh, the border between Switzerland and Italy. It is a large, near symmetric pyramidal peak in the extended Monte Rosa area of the Pennine Alps. Uh, whole summit is 4,478 meters. And the four step faces rising above the surrounding glaciers fade the four compass points and are split by the Hernley Fugern. And uh, the mountain. Uh, overlooks the Swiss town of Zermatt, uh, the canton of Valais, the northeast, the Italian town of Brule Cervina, and uh, the Osta Valais de South. So, just east of the Matterhorn, uh, the main passage between the two valleys on its north and south sides, which has been a trade road since the Roman era. Like, guys, definitely this is just one of the most beautiful place in the world like i swear it's so beautiful and yeah 4478 meters it's over there mm. Mm. 
<laughs> I can't explain actually I can't put words and what I'm feeling right now like and all emotions I can't really breathe right now because first of all okay it's not like you, you can see it's still snow so maybe better if I will find my jacket you know just I need to wear my jacket because yeah glass here I mean, it's just not cold, cold, but the only hoodie and, you know, this t-shirt and yeah, like, I feel that I need right now my winter jacket. I don't want to become sick, but yeah. So, oh, I'm sorry, 300 meters. And then you can spend one night here or two nights or three nights, whatever, how many you like. You will have dinner here and the price included and uh, like full breakfast, dinner with drinks, everything. And uh, of course, warm bed, you know, warm Wi-Fi, everything what you need. And then you can take it on the next day when you will rest a little bit. You can take a walk and that place, I mean, over there on the up, you see, it's almost 5,000 meters. Well, I took he helicopter twice and then I take, I had a, a flight around peak. This is like unbelievable. And of course, like, I would like to go with the group of professional alpinists but uh, I don't know like I don't know <laughs> I just need to prepare myself a little bit more for that it's not so difficult you know with the professionals and I'm fit enough for that but yeah just need a little bit more time I'm just unbelievable happy. And not hungry anymore. Mm. I just bought a uh, coconut salt. Ah, and this restaurant you can buy drinks, beer, I mean food, everything. Either if you don't want to stay here for night, they will offer soup from, for you. I just bought soup with a coconut. Mm. Coconut, carrot and something like... Mm. Check this out. <laughs> Matterhorn selfie. So cool, right? Hello, guys. <laughs> And of course, glacier. I can see waterfall over there. Unfortunately, peak of Mother Harden's Harden right now. 
Oh, they sell so beautiful. Beautiful Swiss Alps. Swiss and Italian border. Okay, come on. Okay, you see, mm, unfortunately, thousands of people died here in Matterhorn, so that's why it's not safe to travel alone. You need to be with a group, with people, with their Alpinists, but you know, unfortunately, every year hundreds of people dying here, and I don't, I don't know how many in the total died, but a lot you know guys so you're supposed to be very like watch on your life you know and be careful and don't do stupid stuff like you know I mean I can't call myself professional climber but I just know, you know, like strict rules, where it's supposed to go. And a second, and first of all, yeah, I know rules, how I'm supposed to act when I'm climbing. And second one, this is not my first time, you know. First time I went with professionals, like with alpinists, with their, so they explained to me the rules, you know, the way how I can find a way back or how I can use the sun for example so, so not to get lost a lot of people got lost here a lot of people died here so you need to be like professional you know like professional climber professional hiking I don't know whatever because that is very dangerous stuff I mean I can call myself only professional hiking person you know I can hike like hours five hours for me it's not problem for hike and uh, but but I'm not a professional climber like But before, you know, I found the way how I can get from the Zermatt to Schwarzsee, from Schwarzsee to this point already 3,000, now it's 4,000 meters. 
because I learn from professionals. It's not like that, you know, you can't just decide, okay, I will go to mountains and then basically it's over. I mean, okay. Schwarz Madonna over there. Oh my God, it's so difficult to breathe right now, you know, like I just lost my breathing. Like Monte Rosa. In my opinion, the most beautiful place in the in this world, Monte Rosa. Unbelievable Swiss Alps. And here, you see, this is the way to start for professionals, you know. Like, I'm not gonna do So basically, if you want to go up 5,000, almost 5,000 meters, you have to start here. And then, up, 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 up. But it's too dangerous, too difficult. I mean, I will do it. For sure one day but not today you see you need special shoes special protection for everything like clothes for alpinism I mean, one day, right? I have target. I would love to do it one day. beautiful place in this world I swear no doubt <clears throat> so I'm not hungry anymore happy 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 happy
It's a bit cooler. Yeah.
Still with you? Yes. Can I see it? Uh, yes. You want me to take everything off because I need to go with the guys. I took everything with me. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you go to Schwarze? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You go to Schwarze? Well, to the train? Yeah. yeah. Guys, you, you will go to Schwarze? Yeah. Okay, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm beginner, you know, for climbing. <laughs> million steps <laughs> only I don't know three or four hours and I will be downstairs <laughs> wait girlfriend 
from storage. <laughs> Please. I have 10,000 subscribers. <laughs> Okay, this is actually not for pussies, you know. I can feel like all muscles on my body. Like, total. I mean, I can swim three kilometers, I don't know, I can run five, ten kilometers, but climbing, especially this, I would tell this is not for big to hike five hours at least. Yes. So try to make some breath here because I'm so tired. Like and I have to walk another three hours. Ooh Yeah. Oh well. Guy.
Let's see. Hello. Ich bin am Umkreis schließen. 
war echt die Konstellation.
Einer muss man schließen. Das war jetzt die Konstellation.
everything, you know. I don't have tent and all this stuff for professionals, I don't have it. But yes, yeah, so this is my dream for sure. The full, I believe 5,500 meters, right? But I'm not sure.